Hello, my name is Jack Arnold. I'm a principal engineer with National Instruments and also a certified vibration analyst level three. Today I wanted to talk about how to configure your data viewers within Insight CM. First thing I'm going to do is go to our data page and here's our asset tree. Now today I'll be looking at this uh, secondary chilled water pump P4, but before I do that I wanted to show you where some options are. If you come over to the upper right hand corner, there's an options uh, selection. And you can see here there's a whole group that is specific to data viewers. One of these is the color palette. So you can choose different color palettes for your channels when they're dropped. You can use any of these built in ones, or if you want to change an individual color yourself, you're welcome to do so. Um, each of the viewers themselves, also, if they have configurable options there, there in this window as well. So I'm not going to change anything. I like the colors, uh, the default colors. So I'll just cancel out of this menu. Um, the first thing I'll do is I'll let me go ahead and load some data. So I'll go to my motor outboard vertical sensor. I'll plot a trend of the RMS over time. You can see how it varies as the motor, the pump comes on and off, on and off uh, throughout the days. Now if I come into here, I'll load waveform data and spectrum. And this is great. The, this is the default view where the trend on top, and the waveform viewer here in the uh, lower left, and the spectrum in the lower right. But I can change these. So I can say if I want to maybe have these be vertical with a waveform in the middle and a spectrum in the on the bottom, I can uh, remove this chart. And then up here, if I want to add a new row, I'm going to add a new row, which will go down here. And then here I can change what chart type shows up. So now I have this layout. I can also minimize this some, change the sizes, get it just the way I like it. Okay, that looks good. Um, if I want to add viewers, more viewers on the bottom, I could uh, add a chart on each row, you just say add chart to the left or the right of whatever row you want to. Um, another thing you can do uh, is that we have a metadata pane. So this metadata pane get, tells us more information about either the asset or the data that we're looking at. So, and this, this window can be floating. I can also dock it. So here's what it looks like docked. I, I kind of like it docked. So here's a new layout that I've I've configured. It looks good. Now I've decided that I'd like, I'd like to use this. So I don't want to have to recreate this every time. To do so, I can actually come in here and say, save layout. Um, maybe I'll just call this vertical viewer. All right, so now I've saved the layout. So just to show you, I can actually, I'm going to clear all this data. I'll actually go back to the default viewer, the default layout. So here's the default layout again. I can load data. This is where we were a second ago. But if I want to quickly switch, I can just say choose layout. I have my new vertical viewer layout selected. I'll select that. And now you see the layout just as I previously configured. Another thing I want to show with the viewers is that, you know, sometimes it's hard to have enough room within this one screen to see everything you might want to do. So you can always click on any of these little four squares and say, open a new window and it'll give you a, a new display of that data that you can make as big or as small as you like. So this is a really handy feature, especially when you were really want to dig into certain things in the spectrum or, or in the data itself. All right. Well, that's what I wanted to show you. I want to show you how to customize your data viewers within InsightCM.